Did you know that hidden deep inside Windows is the registry, a place where important settings control how your PC works? Many of these default settings slow down your games without you realizing it. In this video, we'll change some of these registry settings to give your computer more power and focus to your games. By adjusting these secret Windows options, you can boost your FPS and get smoother gameplay. Let's unlock your PC's full gaming potential through the registry. Before we dive into the manual tweaks, here's a time-saving tip. If you'd rather skip the step-by-step -step editing, you can download the pre-configured Registry Tweaks Pack from my official website. To begin, open your browser and go to uptopacks.com. On the homepage, head into the FPS Boost section. Find the post that has the same title and thumbnail as this video. This makes it easy to match the correct optimization pack. Scroll down slightly until you see the direct download link. There are no pop-ups or redirections, so you'll be able to grab the pack quickly and safely. After downloading, just open the folder, go into the registry section and double click each file to apply the tweaks instantly. What makes this pack really useful is the flexibility. If you ever want to undo any of the changes, there's a revert folder included with all the original default settings. Just double click those files the same way to restore everything. I've also added a detailed text file listing every registry path used, which is great if you want to double check, manually tweak, or learn exactly what's being changed. So if you want a faster and safer way to get all the benefits, grab the pack and make the whole process effortless. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 1. Win32 Priority Separation. Force Windows to focus on your game. In this step, we're going to adjust a hidden window setting that controls how your CPU decides between running background services and the application you're actively using. By default, Windows tries to balance everything, which might sound fair, but for gaming, this balance is a big problem. Games require real-time input handling and processing, while background services like indexing or updates just get in the way. This tweak will tell Windows to stop wasting power on unnecessary tasks and give your game top priority. To apply it, open the Windows search bar and type Registry Editor. Right-click on it and select Run as Administrator. This step is necessary because registry changes won't apply correctly without full access. Now take the first registry path from the video description and paste it into the address bar at the top of the registry editor. Press enter and you'll land directly in the right section. On the right hand side, find a value called Win32 Priority Separation. Double click on it, set the value data to 26, change the base to hexadecimal and click OK to apply. After doing this, Windows will prioritize your game over any background tasks, improving frame stability and cutting down input delay, especially while multitasking during gameplay. Step 2. Max pre-rendered frames, lower input delay and improve responsiveness. This step adjusts how many frames your system prepares in advance before they're actually shown on screen. By default, Windows or your GPU driver might pre-render multiple frames to keep visuals smooth, but this causes a small delay between your input and what you see. 
That delay can make your mouse feel floaty and your movements less precise, especially in competitive games. By limiting this buffer, we can reduce latency and make your controls feel snappier. Copy the second registry path from the video description and paste it into the registry editor's address bar. Press enter to jump straight to the correct location. In the right panel, check if a value called max pre-rendered frames exists. If not, right click on an empty area, go to new and select DW odd 32 bit value. Name it exactly as shown, max pre-rendered frames. Then double click on it, set the value data to one, switch the base to decimal and click okay. After doing this, your system will render frames closer to real time, reducing the delay between your actions and what happens on screen. This tweak is perfect for shooters like CS2 and Valorant, where reaction speed can make all the difference. Step 3. System responsiveness. Free up CPU power from background services. In this step, we'll reduce the portion of your CPU that Windows holds back for non-gaming tasks. By default, 20 cent or of your processor is reserved for services like Windows updates, indexing and telemetry, even while gaming. That's wasted performance, especially on budget CPUs. We're going to lower that reserve and allow your game to use more of the available CPU power. Copy the third registry path from the video description and paste it into the address bar. Hit enter to reach the correct section. Look for a value named system responsiveness. Double click on it, switch the base to decimal and set the value data to 10, then press OK to confirm. After applying this tweak, you'll unlock more CPU resources for your game, which helps reduce stuttering in open world or CPU heavy titles like Warzone, GTA 5 and RPGs. This is especially helpful on lower end systems where every bit of power matters. Step 4. Core Parking. Keep all CPU cores active during gaming. This step is about disabling a hidden power saving feature that actually harms gaming. Windows uses something called core parking to turn off unused CPU cores, which is great for saving battery, but in gaming, it can cause inconsistent performance and sudden drops in FPS. We'll unlock and prepare the settings so that your system keeps all cores active while gaming. Copy the next registry path from the description and paste it into the registry editor's address bar. Hit enter to go directly to the target location. On the right hand side, find the entry named attributes. Double click on it and change the value data from one to zero, then click okay. After this change, Windows will stop hiding the core parking setting inside power options and all your CPU cores will remain fully active during gaming. This ensures smoother frame pacing and better multitasking in games that rely on multiple threads. Step five. Multimedia Scheduling, Prioritize GPU and Game Processing In our final and most advanced step, we're going to fine-tune Windows' Multimedia Scheduler, which controls how resources are assigned to different types of tasks. Games often share resources with streaming apps, browsers or overlays, which can reduce GPU and IRO performance. With this tweak, we'll tell Windows to put your game at the front of the line. Copy the final registry path from the description and paste it into the registry editor's address bar. Press enter to open the correct location. In the right panel, make sure these six values exist. If any are missing, right click, choose new and select either string value or DW word, 32 bit value, depending on the type needed. Then set them as follows. Double click on affinity, switch it to hexadecimal and set the value to F. This limits the game to the first four logical CPU cores, which can help reduce scheduling delays on systems with multiple threads. Now find background only, double click it, select decimal and make sure the value is set to zero. This ensures that the game is always treated as a foreground task, giving it more system priority. Next, open GPU priority, choose hexadecimal and enter E. This setting improves how the GPU allocates resources to the game, ensuring better frame rendering. After that, go to the priority value, set it to decimal and enter six. This gives the game a higher CPU priority level for more consistent thread execution. Now, locate scheduling category, double click it and type high exactly as shown. This signals Windows to treat the game as a high priority task during CPU scheduling. Finally, 
open SFIO priority and also set it to high. This tweak gives the game better disc access priority, which helps improve load times and reduces hitching during gameplay. Once these are all in place, close the registry editor. With this tweak applied, your game gains top level access to GPU, CPU and disc handling, reducing frame spikes and improving consistency. You'll notice smoother gameplay and faster loading during heavy scenes or when switching between in-game menus. Now guys, you're turning your Windows PC into a system that no longer splits its attention. You're making it clear that gaming comes first. CPU bottlenecks start to fade, background apps get pushed aside, your GPU receives top tier scheduling and your inputs respond instantly. Whether you're running a modest setup or just want every bit of extra performance, these registry tweaks activate full gaming mode across your system. If this helped you out, hit that subscribe button for more high performance gaming tweaks. Your PC will thank you. Peace out.